Jerry Lewis, with the modern heirs, Franklin Pangborn, Dugard Jr., and Bertie Brickerbrack, presented by the Colgate Palmolive Company, makers of Halo, the shampoo that glorifies your hair. Colgate Dental Cream, new Colgate Dental Cream now contains Gardol. Great new formula fab with more active dirt remover. Palmolive shaving creams for smoother, more comfortable shaves. And now, the Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis Show. Hold your tickets, stay in line. The show is great, seats are fine. Please, no pushing, let's not fight. Rockety left, Roach's right. Rockety left, Rockety left, Rockety left, and Roach's right. Listen, youngster, I've been here, it seems to me, half a year. I tell you, it's a real disgrace. Stay in line, you'll lose your place. Stay in line, stay in line, stay in line, you'll lose your place. The boys are on in just a while, please don't clutter up the aisle. The boys are on in just a while, please don't clutter up the aisle. Shh, the show is on. Shh, the show is on. <laughs> What do you think you were doing? Oh, I, 
was playing with the band, Dean. Did you know it? Yeah, I knew it. Uh, how did you know it was me? You're taller. <laughs> Can you listen to me? Yeah. Will, will you let me sing a song? I'm up here singing a song. All right, let's do it a number. Do what number? Where were you when, when, when you were introduced? Where were you? I'd... Well, I was playing with the band. You were playing with what band? With the orchestra. I was playing with them. The orchestra? Yeah, come on, let's do the number. No, we're not doing it. I'm going to do this myself. You can't help me. Why can't I do it with you? Because you're incorrigible. I'm what, what, what? <laughs> incorrigible. What, what does that mean? What, what, what does that mean? Incorrigible means uh, that uh, when you... Incorrigible means that what's the difference? A dummy like you won't understand anyhow. <laughs> oh, is that so? Incorrigible means not corrigible, incapable of being corrected or amended, not reformable, unmanageable, unruly, delinquent, one who lacks purpose or attachment with an incapacity for fixity or steadiness. <laughs> I'll take my trumpet and go, and you may sing, you peasant. Get a load of this. Private Robert E. Lee Pruitt. <laughs> Private Pruitt? Uh, yes, sir. Right here are my papers. Uh, what's your rank? Admiral. <laughs> Admiral in the Army? Yeah, I got some very good connections. <laughs> Look, according to the papers here, you were transferred because you were a very bad boy. Well, no, I wasn't a bad boy, sir. It's just that, uh, I was on uh, kitchen duty, and I took a slice of Sam. You took a slice of Spam? No, Sam. He was standing too close to the slicer. He <laughs> was very tasty, too. <laughs> but look, according, according, according to these papers, according to these papers, you're a boxer. Well, they happen to be wrong. I'm a cock of Spam. <laughs> Now, let me see. Now, don't, oh, don't try to get out of this boat. Well, while you're in my outfit, you know what you're going to do? What? You're going to box. Oh, no. You're going to box. Oh, oh no, sir. You see, I, I'm That's not... what the paper said. No, I'm not going to box. I, I just want to play trumpet. That's all. <laughs> I, I, I don't want to box. I used to be a bigger fighter. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to fight. No, I just, I just want to play trumpet. <laughs> now, looking at you, I'm trying to figure out how, uh, how you became a fighter. Oh, well, that was when I was a little smaller. See, I was walking in the street one day with my kid brother, and some guy yelled to him, Hey, four eyes! Oh, your little brother has uh, glasses? No, he had four eyes. <laughs> <laughs> so, look, you can look. You know what you're going to do? If you don't box in this outfit, I'm going to put you in the stockade with Fatso. Do you know who Fatso is? Here no, no, there. I don't know who Fatso is. Fatso happens to be a guy who weighs 300 pounds, he's 6 feet 13, and he carries a knife. <laughs> this guy needs a knife? <laughs> I don't want to fight. You don't understand, Captain. You see, I just want to play trumpet. That's all there is to it. Under and no I'm... conditions, you're, you're not going to fight, huh? I'll fight for the United States of America, for my country. <laughs> Well, I'm not going to fight. No, I'm, I'm not going to box. Under any condition, I have a very strong willpower. I ain't going to box. That's all. You sure? Absolutely. <laughs> no, I like the trumpet. <laughs> You're not going to box? No, no. I'm afraid not. <laughs> this is tough, but I love music. <laughs> and you can hit me and destroy me and abuse me, but you'll never destroy that feeling I have in my heart for those notes. Dick, come in. This boy doesn't want to box for our outfit. Oh, so you don't want to box, huh? That's right. <laughs> I'm a box? No, like I told the other fellow, I ain't fighting. I'm just going to play trumpet. 
Oh. Hey, come on. Louis. Patty, Pat, come here. This kid here doesn't want a bus ride. Hey, 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 hey. hey. but I think this is the one that I'm the proudest of. Uh, many of you know that a song written by Jack Brooks and Harry Warren entitled That's Amore is a big hit. I think that the biggest thrill for performer nowadays is to get a hit on record. Well, it's a great thrill for me because it's such a wonderful thing for my partner. This is a solid gold recording of That's Amore, which a recording artist gets when he reaches the million mark. My partner now reached the million mark and we're going to present this gold record of that Samore to Mr. Dean Martin, ladies and gentlemen. How about a real cheer? But all I can say is uh, thank you, Jerry, and I want to thank Capitol, and most of all, I want to thank all the wonderful people who bought this. Well, Mac Gray did a great job, and everybody at Capitol, and I think it's wonderful, and I think next time, maybe when you make another recording and it's going to be a big hit, you'll let me play trumpet with you. <laughs> so, <clears throat> that takes care of that. I think we'll just stand here until they fade to black. How about a nice hand for my part? Elmer needs a shave. He slaps on shave cream, then the razor. Ooh. Elmer thinks he's got a shave, but his wife has different ideas. Ouch! Why don't you shave? Right. Why don't you get an all-day shave the Palmolive Shaving Cream way? Yes, a smoother, more comfortable all-day shave. One that most men find really lasts from morning till night. Over 2,000 men tested the Palmolive Shaving Cream way. And 7 out of 10 reported beards easier to cut. Less razor pull. Smoother, more comfortable shaves. Yes, and a cleaner, closer, longer-lasting shave, too. Mmm, smooth. Why don't you try the Palm Olive Shaving Cream way? You get smoother, more comfortable all-day shaves by shaving the Palm Olive Shaving Cream way. You get smoother, more comfortable all-day shaves the Palm Olive Shaving Cream way. Tomorrow, try Palm Olive Brushless or Palm Olive Lather Shaving Cream. And men, to top off your perfect shave, use the lotion that soothes your face from shave to shave. New Palm Olive After Shave Lotion. Look, I want to talk to you about the opening of the Copa, you know, 21st of January, about that Samora, you know, that, a new arrangement on it. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, I want to... Hey, Dean, my cousin Hybee wrote a song. Hold, hold it with Hybee. What? Hybee. I'm talking on the phone. Look, yeah, Eddie, but he still wrote it, and I thought it make... Forget it. Just give me a light, will you, Jerry? Look, Eddie, you know what I want first? Huh? First of all, you know what I want? First of all... Hey. First of all, I want a great big fanfare. A great big fanfare, you know what I mean? Big as you got. And second, when you play with the trombones, you know what happens with the trombones? I want a nice slide and... Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> Sorry, that's it. Wah, wah. And you know what the, what the nice sub clarinet? Real low, real low, low, low. That's it, low clarinet. That's, that's what I'm talking about, you know what I mean? Nice low, that's it. Stop it, will you, Jerry? All right, Eddie. All right, I'll call you. I'll call you when I get into Pittsburgh, right? <laughs> and I'll please just let me know, okay? I'll... Hey! Oh, what do you want? I just wanted to tell you about my cousin Harvey. He wrote this terrific song for you, What man. song? It's entitled the Alligator Hop Jump Skip Song. The alligator Hop Jump Skip Song? And slide. <laughs> it's a romantic ballad, Dean, and it's terrific for you. It goes like this. The Alligator Hop Jump Skip Song and slide. The alligator hop jump skip song and fly. <laughs> he wags his tail and opens his mouth. The alligator hop jump skip 
And fly. <laughs> Tell your cousin Herbie that I don't. Come in, Mr. Martin. Mr. and Mrs. Balaban and their son and daughter are downstairs. Oh, send them up. Yes. You sir. know who's here? What? Mr. Balaban. Mr. Balaban. Oh, all the Paramount theaters. He wants to make a big picture deal with you and me. Now watch your manners. Do everything correctly. Oh, nice. don't worry. I'll watch my manners. On my honor, I will do my best to spare the basic ingredients, the irreverence of one who certainly knows best for those who haven't warranted any pain or subterfuge on the part of anyone else. And Schlaw. Come in, come in, come in, come in. Right this way, please. Well, Dean, how oh, are you? Fine, nice good to, to see, see you. Hello. This is Balaban, my good daughter, son-in-law. Nice to see you. Well, Dean, it's nice to see you again. Real fine. Well, say, uh, how long are you going to run here, Dean? Oh, just about two more weeks. Uh -huh. Well, we yeah, thought sorry. that uh, we would just... Uh, <laughs> We've had uh, various engagements on the road, you know. You look very well, Mr. Balaban, but you need a shave. <laughs> uh, how's it going with you, Mrs. Balaban? You've never looked better. You're pretty fat, but you never look better. <laughs> uh, you know, last year, uh, we were working in uh, Palm Beach. We had one, it's a funny thing, isn't that the You know, I'll tell you a funny story. We were working in Boston about three weeks ago. <laughs> In person. Well, you thank you for. Well, which Balaban are you? Phil. Oh, come on. <laughs> Maybe we'd better talk yeah. about this at some oh, other time. Oh, no, no. I ordered some food for you. I ordered some spaghetti, meatballs, some uh, soup, crepe soup, and wow. I had everything you want. You know I mean? Yeah, we didn't order anything for Mrs. Balaban because she's way. <laughs> to drink while well, you're waiting. Yeah, Get some water for Miss Bell. Get some water? Yes. yes. Right away. Oh, yeah. He's a, a sick man. Oh, well, I wanted to talk about the picture to yeah. you. Well, we'll get to that in a yeah. few moments. We'll talk about the picture. Where are you going out there, <laughs> Jerry, look at you. What's the matter? I'm dressed. I'm going to out of those What's wrong with you? Go get the bottled water. Oh, Go get the bottle of water, he said. Well, he's all right. He's not in his right Two words 
about taxes. Right here. <laughs> talk about the picture some other time. Yes, sir. Yes. Surely. <laughs> they made a piece out of my partner. <laughs> hey, help! Help somebody! Hey, help somebody! Help! Help! I gotta get Jay's flattened out. You're an idiot. You're stupid. You're a thumper. That's what you are. You haven't got it up here. Yeah, well, I must have it someplace. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on, nothing. That's the phone. Oh, leave me alone for a change. Yeah. Hello? Yeah? Six minutes, Mr. Martin. I'm in in six minutes. Okay, thank you very much. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> hello, hello, Dino. Oh, yeah, who is this? This is Eddie. Eddie, you're a ranger. Oh, how you mean, Eddie? All right, Eddie, uh, do you know, listen, uh, I've got a ranger. Yeah, you can make it easy, but the way I say so. I don't like it. I don't care whether you like it or not. You make it the way I say so. You understand? You now, you hang up. Me, Gino. Oh, hang up your hard point. What? Gene, what? Jerry, do you know what's going on down below? No, what? Listen. Our fans, that's all. You'll have to do something about your fans down in the street. Now, they're blocking traffic. The police are complaining. Please do something. Well, the all only right. thing we do is throw pictures yeah, like Yeah, throw always. pictures, anything like always. Throw all right, let's throw pictures. Here you are, go get it! Hey, here we go! Here we go! No more pictures! Hi, hi, go ahead. Now, here you are. <laughs> throw them all, make them happy. Here you are! Well, they want us. See ya. Wow. Oh, Junior, will your name be Mud with Mom? Not me. When he's close, don't bother Mom anymore. When I say. Junior wasn't kidding. His mom's not mad because she's got great new formula fab. Great new fab with more active dirt remover than any other leading product. Fab penetrates even the dirtiest wash twice as fast with more active dirt remover. Yes, fab gives you more active dirt remover for Junior's play clothes. More active dirt remover for Dad's shirts. Fab now gives you more active dirt remover for everything you wash. And in addition to the greatest amount of active dirt remover, Fab contains not one, but two of the most effective whitening ingredients ever discovered. Now only Fab washes your clothes so clean and white so fast. No bluing, no bleaching, except for stubborn stains. Yet Fab is milder to hands than even leading floating soaps. So get the dirt out fast and easy with great new formula Fab. Fab gives you more active dirt remover than any other leading product. Now, 
course, a little uphill nose, and <laughs> there you are, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and that, that, ladies and gentlemen, concludes Duke Art Demonstration. And uh, don't forget, folks, the material that I made this space of, Miracle Play Clay, will soon be on sale here at Brubaker and Company. <laughs> I hope. Uh, don't you worry, Mr. Art. When Mr. Brubaker knows what you can do with that Miracle Play Clay, <laughs> he's going to give you one great, big, tremendous order. Oh, thank you. <laughs> By the way, is it time for my coffee now? Uh, the commissary is up on the fifth floor. Oh, mm, fine. I'll be back in ten minutes because I'm expecting Mr. Brubaker. <laughs> and will. will he be surprised when he sees this? Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Come on, Jerry, we only got 40 minutes now. Let's try it. 40 minutes. Let's... Go By ahead. the great horn spoon, it's a child's paradise. <laughs> Gee, boy, I gotta get that. Look at oh. all these nice things here. Oh, look at this thing. Oh, wow. Ah! <laughs> can, uh, can I be of assistance to you, yeah, sir? I'd like to get a uh, toy for my kids. Uh, you're a good daddy, and I love oh, you. Oh, come on. Now, I'd like to get a little toy from a child. Is it a boy or a girl? I don't know. My wife doesn't write. Uh, <laughs> we have a great, big, tremendous stock right here. You're perfectly welcome to browse around. Uh, thank you, Mr. Browser. <laughs> now, go ahead. Now, don't get into any mischief. You no, I won't, Dean. I just like to look at all these things. My goodness gracious. Isn't it terrific? Boy, I didn't have much of a childhood. What fun to be a youth. Hello. Hello. Licorice? <laughs> Can I have a piece? Can I have a lick? No! But you got a lot of it. <laughs> <laughs> What's the difference if I take a little piece? No, it's my licorice. Don't yell, Sonny. Come on, wise guy. It's embarrassing. No, no yelling. No yelling. What's a little piece? Dad. Don't call your father. Stop. Don't, no, it's a little... What's the matter? What's the matter, Sonny? Oh, he's trying to take my candy. I think you know who the licorice belongs to. Well, what about it, smart guy? I'm bringing oh, a little piece. Play, huh? Come on, What is this? Two against... Oh. Hey! 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 Dean! 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 Help me! Help me! Come on, pull. What's the matter? This guy's taking us away from me. Hold on. Oh, the... Oh, come on, pull, pull. Dean. I'm pull. Come on, you're strong. You're from Steubenville. Pull! <laughs> Oh, uh, some wise guy stealing my kid's licorice. Oh, of all the nerve, I'll help you put. Come on, come on. I don't need your help. I can do it alone. One, two, three, and four. Oh, I'm sorry. That's all right. Come along, son. Ah, uh, yeah. Go. Thank you. And take those Adlers off. Uh, <laughs> what are you do? Hey, what did you do? I knocked everything down. You knocked it. Put everything back and put that ball on the top. Yeah, I will. Put it on the top. All right. Oh. Ah, ha, ha. <laughs> I see you're interested in the wading pool. Yes. <laughs> it's a nice. Uh, I yeah, like I, it. How oh, you do? Yes. Well, I want to tell you that is it. Oh, were you interested in the ball? Well, I, 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 yeah. how much does this cost? Only 1975. Forget the ball. Take it uh, back. Put it on the top. Put it right back where it belongs. Nice. I want to tell you, this is one of the most popular articles that we have in the whole It house. is? And it's not terribly expensive. And the joy, the yeah. joy that this brings to the children, yeah. <laughs> you will be surprised. Yeah, I will. And you, know, right. and you see, they can play with that ball. Uh, and they can... Uh, Oh, I'm what, why don't you what you do? Come down here. Yeah. Come, Come down here. Yeah. Yeah. What, is, what are you doing? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, 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 if you... Uh, well, I'm oh, sorry. Oh, oh, I'm out. Oh, 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 I can't... Uh, yeah. Look, and oh. I'm expecting Mr. Well, Brubaker. Yeah, I'll buy the pool. Can you... I'll buy oh, the pool. Buy the pool. Oh, that's a great surprise. That's, that's wonderful. Now, uh, I'll go get a book and write out the order sure, myself. Be right. right. I'll be right. I'll be right. I'll be right. Yeah, yeah, you can make it. You'll be right back. Uh, you see what you made me do? Well, uh, um, you made me buy a pool. Well, it's a nice wading pool, Dean, for your children. It's a nice one. How do I know my kids can wade? <laughs> well, all of them couldn't in there, anyhow. <laughs> There's an awful lot of things that train set that goes, ooh, ooh. 
Oh. How do I know my kids can woo woo? Well, well, what about this? The chemistry set is very nice. I have no chemers at home. Wait. Not have no chemers <laughs> at home. I ought to write. <laughs> Look at all the nice things you can do to... Oh, be careful, because you see, all this is... What are you doing, Jerry? Well, you just pour Jerry, a little thing... Jerry, do that... you know what you're doing? Well, yeah, I think... Get rid of it. What? Get rid of it. It's my... Get, get, get rid of it! Don't you have something to say to him? Would you, would you validate our parking ticket? <laughs> young man, young man, during my 20 years of experience, and by experience with Brubaker and Comedy, I have been subjected to many in indignities. And I want you to understand that up until now, I have subscribed all the time for the golden rule of Brubaker and Company, which I admire all through my life. The but customer there comes is always time, right. The yeah. customer is always right. Yeah. But I want you to understand that there comes a time when one's patience has reached the dying point. And I want you to know, absolutely to know, that the inner man must rebel. I, I, Wilbur, Wilbur C. Wick absolutely has reached the point that he throws everything to the wind. Geronimo! <laughs> I've, had, I've had it! I've had it! I think this kid's got it. Yeah, but then he didn't validate our parking ticket. Come on, let's get out of here. All right, gee whiz, you always yell and everything, and I... for my miracle play clay from Mr. Brubaker, I'll sue you for every dime you got. Believe me, you won't have anything left. We're gonna get sued again. Listen to me. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dean. Don't yell at me. Don't be mean to me, I'll be Dean. mean. You come with me. I'm no, gonna Dean. get that guy. Oh, yeah, you come with me. Come no, on. Dean, you come can't on. help him, Dean. No. Yes, yes, yes. Now, look, Johnson, I know I'm due at that meeting in a few minutes, but I have to see a Mr. Uh, Ducart Jr. here about a play statue or something like that. You run ahead and tell them I'll be there in a few minutes as soon as I get through here. All right, Mr. Brubaker. Fine, go ahead. Uh, Mr. Art? Uh, uh, Duke, uh, what happened here? <laughs> oh, I beg your pardon. Are you Mr. Art? What? I'm uh, Mr. Art. Are you Mr. Art? I'm Mr. Brubaker. Oh, oh yeah, I'm Mr. Art. Oh, sure. Fine. I'm Mr. Art. You're Mr. Brubaker? How did, this is the model, the new Is play. this the statue? This is it. Look at this. Look at this. Boy, that's Look beautiful. At that. It looks so lifelike. Yeah, and watch how it's stretched. Look at that. Look at this. And now, it goes right back to shape. Watch how it goes back to look. Look at that. Huh? Now, look at that. Now, let's go back. Please. Look at that. Huh? Now, that's marvelous. Why, it really has real hair, too. It certainly does. Look at that. May I do that? Be my geese. Yes. <laughs> How do you yes, like it's that? it's very lifelike indeed. Sure yes. I think uh, we'll place, place an order with your concern. But first, I must have this bus for my office. No, not this one. Yes, make, this is the one no, I want. No, I'm not. No, I no, 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 no,
No, no you can't no, have please. No. Wait, well, you, stop you, you. being silly, will you? I want this one here. Oh. Oh. <laughs> but that is my partner. What did you do, my partner? Oh, I'll never hit him again. Never. Even if he is incorrigible, I'll never hit him again. Incorrigible, not corrigible. Incorrigible oh, being corrected or amended. <laughs> Here is proof of the greatest scientific discovery in toothpaste history. Proof that new Colgate Dental Cream with Gardol, Colgate's exclusive new miracle ingredient, gives lasting protection against tooth decay enzymes. And only new Colgate Dental Cream has the clinical proof that brings new hope to millions for lifetime protection against tooth decay. Actual use by hundreds of people has proved the long-lasting protection of new Colgate Dental Cream with Gardol. Tests supervised by leading dental authorities for a full year prove that Gardol's protection won't rinse off, won't wear off, all day or all night. Proved just daily morning and night use of new Colgate Dental Cream guards against decay-causing enzymes every minute of the day and night. A jury of distinguished dentists examined this evidence. These dentists agree new Colgate Dental Cream with Gardol gives the surest protection against tooth decay ever offered by any toothpaste. No other toothpaste offers proof of such results. Only new Colgate Dental Cream has the clinical proof that brings new hope to millions for lifetime protection against tooth decay. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Those of you who have followed the progress of music are probably aware of the recent innovations in the medium of sound. The last decade has produced entirely original musical sounds via the introduction of such instruments as the gourd, maracas, clavis, sonobox, and theremin. The success of these musical adventures has spurred our contemporary composers to seek even more unique sounds. Tonight we are honored to have with us a world-famous concert artist who will perform for the first time on any stage a new work by Leroy Anderson incorporating the very latest innovations in melodics. Ladies and gentlemen, we are proud to introduce our guest virtuoso of the evening, Pietro Del Canto.
One soap is proved the mildest soap of all. Milder than any other leading soap. One soap is proved better for complexion care. Better for complexion care. That soap is palm olive. Yes, palm olive. Here's what a group of leading doctors and skin specialists report. 9,500 skin tests on women of all ages and skin types prove palm olive is the mildest of all leading soaps. Far milder than any other leading beauty soap. Floating soap, deodorant soap, castile soap. Even milder than costly cold creams. That's why Palmolive soap is better for complexion care. Skin specialists, beauty editors, you yourself know that milder cleansing is better for your complexion. Palmolive agrees with your skin better because it's the mildest soap of all. That's why no other leading soap or cold cream gets skin thoroughly clean as gently as Palmolive. See how proper care with 100% mild Palmolive brings you softer, smoother skin. That schoolgirl complexion look Change to palm olive. Prove the mildest of all leading soaps. Proved better for complexion care. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. You've been very wonderful. We would like right about here to thank everyone who have helped us with muscular dystrophy. MDA right about now has about four million dollars through our telethon, and there's more coming. We want to say thank you so very much to all of you. And don't forget next week, folks, from Colgate Hour, Mr. Alan Young, Frank Sinatra, Stan Freeberg, and Bing Crosby and his friends with the winner of the 13th Annual National Pro Amateur Golf Championship. That, and I'll be there, too, because yeah, I'm going up Yeah, you'll be Tuesday. there playing golf while I'm on the train going to the Copacabana in New York. And, of course, we want to thank Television Life, a great magazine, a faucet publication, for the wonderful tie-up that we have with the winner free trip to Mexico on American Airlines. They're wonderful DC-6s. The contest is great, and we'd like very much for you, ladies and gentlemen, to join and participate. You may win a trip to Mexico via American Airlines. It's the planes that go up in the air. So, <laughs> we'll be happy to fortune of working for you again, and we sincerely hope it soon. We'd like to thank the crew. We'd like to thank our wonderful uh, producer-director, Ernie Glucksman, and our very wonderful director in the booth, Bud Yorkin and his staff. All the cameramen, good night. You've been wonderful. God bless you. Thank you. <laughs> Private Robert E. Lee Pruitt. <laughs> Private Pruitt? Uh, yes, sir. Right here are my papers. Uh, what's your rank? Admiral. <laughs> Admiral in the Army? Yeah, I got some very good connections. <laughs> Look, uh, according to the papers here, you were transferred because you were a very bad boy. Well, no, I wasn't a bad boy, sir. It's just that uh, I was on... Uh, kitchen duty, and I took a slice of Sam. <laughs> you took a slice of Spam? No, Sam, he was standing too close to the slicer. Huh? <laughs> he was very tasty, too. <laughs> but look, according, according, according to these papers, according to these papers, you're a boxer. Well, they happen to be wrong. I'm a cock of Spam. <laughs> Now, let me see. Now, don't, oh, don't try to get out of this booth. Well, while you're in my outfit, you know what you're going to do? What? You're going to box. Oh, no. You're going to box. Oh, oh no, sir. You see, I, I'm That's not... what the paper said. No, I'm not going to box. I, I just want to play trumpet. That's all. <laughs> I, I, I don't want to box. I used to be a bigger fighter. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to fight. No, I just, I just want to play trumpet. <laughs> now, looking at you, I'm trying to figure out how, uh, how you became a fighter. Oh, well, that was when I was a little smaller. See, I was walking the street one day with my... Boys are on in just a while. Please don't clutter up the aisle. Boys are on in just a while. Please don't clutter up the aisle. The show is on. Shh. The show is on.
Mary. Will you something that rhymes with Jerry? Girls, I got. I'll take it from there. I got. Where is? Where's? Where is Jerry? I don't know where he is. He's late. Who's he think he is? Me? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'll take it from there. <laughs> What do you think you were doing? Oh, oh, I was playing with the band, Dean. Did you know it? and Jerry Lewis with the modern heirs Franklin Pangborn Dugard Jr. and Bertie Brickerbrack presented by the Colgate Palmolive Company makers of Halo the shampoo that glorifies your hair Colgate Dental Cream new Colgate Dental Cream now contains Gardol great new formula fab with more active dirt remover Palmolive shaving creams for smoother, more comfortable shaves. And now, the Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis Show. Hold your tickets, stay in line. The show is great, seats are fine. Please, no pushing, let's not fight. Balcony left, Loge is right. Balcony left, balcony left, balcony left, and Loge is right. Listen, youngster, I've been here, it seems to me, half a year. I tell you, it's a real disgrace. Stay in line, you'll lose your place. Stay in line, stay in line, stay in line, you'll lose your place. <laughs> yeah, I knew it. How did you know it was me? You're taller. <laughs> Can you listen to me? Yeah. Will, will you let me sing a song? I'm up here singing a song. All right, let's do it a number. So what number? Where were you when, when, this, uh, when you were introduced? Where were you? I'd... Well, I was playing with the band. You were playing with what band? With the orchestra. I was playing with them. The orchestra? Yeah, come on. Let's do the number. No, we're not doing it. I'm going to do this myself. You can't help me. Why can't I do it with you? Because you're incorrigible. I'm what? 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 <laughs> incorrigible. What, what does that mean? What, what, what does that mean? Incorrigible means uh, that uh, when you... Incorrigible means, that, what's the difference? A dummy like you won't understand anyhow. <laughs> oh, is that so? Incorrigible means not corrigible, incapable of being corrected or amended, not reformable, unmanageable, unruly, delinquent, one who lacks purpose or attachment with an incapacity for fixity or steadiness. <laughs> I'll take my trumpet and go, and you may sing, you peasant. Oh, 
get a load of this. <laughs> 